Hi everyone, Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV. Um, I'm sure you've heard the news by now, but I've got to report it because I am absolutely buzzing, like many, many West Ham fans out there, I am buzzing at the appointment of the new first team coach. How can I describe him? He was Mr. West Ham for so many years, for the mid, uh, early to mid 90s. Um, he is one of the best left backs ever to play in the Premier League. Never got England recognition because of his disciplinary, but that never that never meant nothing to us because we love him all the same. Um, a living legend, a living legend, um, and that word is used too many times because this guy is literally a legend to West Ham fans. It's used too loosely for other people. To be fair, the appointment um, of the new first team coach. It, 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 simple. It, it, it should have been simple. It should have been done a long, long time ago. Um, the board um, obviously took a bit of uh, a flat last year about Sam, and I know last season the football was good, but you know they, they 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 did take a bit of flat, and this should have been done a long time ago. This has really got people excited. If you thought that the, the appointment of the of the manager was you know got people excited, this has got people excited. You know, we've got some great signings come in. We've got a, you know. The manager that people wanted, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this out there now, not necessarily me, but the manager that people wanted. And now this, um, they did promise us, they, uh, the two Davids, a couple of weeks ago, that there was going to be some, some legends coming into the club, and they don't come any bigger than this one. Julian Dix has come in as our first team coach. If you haven't heard the news, if this is the first time you're hearing it, it's true. He's come back, the Terminator. He always says, I'll be back. He is back. Um... It's got so many people excited. It's got so many. It's got me excited, and and I don't get excited a lot, you know. It's got me excited about next season. Um, I don't know his coaching credentials. He's done a marvelous job with the, with the ladies, um, and they do lose a good coach. I feel a bit sorry for the ladies because he's been a good coach. But to have the Terminator, the legend that is Julian Dix sitting on our bench next season is going to be huge, and it's it's created that buzz, that excitement. Obviously, new signings coming in. Um, they did say there was going to be some sort of like coaching um, and you know people coming. Chris Woods came in, didn't really excite me that much. He's not got nothing to do with the club. Although he's an ex-England international goalkeeper, he's worked for Manchester United and Everton. Um, you know, and let's be fair, their goalkeepers are normally quite good, aren't they? But to have Julian come in, it's a PA stunt, and the greatest thing they could have done all rolled into one because. It's got so many people excited. So many people excited about the season anyway. This has just put the icing on the cake. And a lot of people are saying now they've got to appoint Tony Cotty as striking coach. We do need a new striking coach. Teddy, if you didn't know, Teddy left at the end of last season. Um, he obviously done wonders with our strikers. But to bring someone in full-time, maybe you know Tony Cotty, Johnny Artson. People are saying about Dean Ashton, although I don't know the, you know, the ins and outs about Dean Ashton. I don't know about his... Um, his ankles or whatever, it doesn't matter. This one, this one is the one that people wanted. Julian Dix, in our technical area next season, if he doesn't bring anything else, he'll put passion in the people, you know. He just instilled in the mid-90s, when we, let's be fair, we wasn't very good, but he was just the guy that dragged us out. That admire most of the time on his own, that do or die attitude, the sweetest left foot you've ever seen, could hit a penalty harder than anyone I've ever seen. Um, but it's just that passion, you know, that he loved West Ham, he loved the he loved the calls, he loves the fans, he's very active on social media today because he loved it that much, you know. He always answers people's questions. I'll tell you what, the club couldn't have done a better job in appointing him. He's been right there under their noses all this time. I'm very surprised it's taken so long to, to appoint him. But, you know, the Terminator is back. That's the thing we've got to instill. It's fantastic. He's, he's like what Alan Shearer is to Newcastle fans, you know. What um, Georgie Best is to, to, to Man United fans. You know, he just epitomises the passion, the, the desire that we've got to win. And um, I'm so excited about next season now, you know. I know I don't know much about his coaching ability. As I said, I'm sure he's very fantastic. And before I go on, congratulations, Julian, by the way, because um, I know that this is probably something that you wanted for a long time, and you've you, you finally got it. 
as I said before, this is an appointment that's got people excited. Um, the next season is going to be epic, no matter what happens. Um, the signings we're making, the movement we're making in the transfer window. <clears throat> and let's be fair, I know a lot of movement ain't been done. I know we've signed Payet and I know we've done Obiang. But the, the transfer window don't actually open until 1st of July. So expect more deals before then because people are off on their holidays. They're just returning from pre-season. Let, expect deals to be freshed out. You know, the NAN's being banded about these 18 million pound centre backs and, you know, 15 million pound strikers. I think this is the season. This is the season where we can do something. This is the season where we can actually put a foot in the Premier League and, you know, cement ourselves as part of that top half, that top eight, that top six, whatever it may be. Top four, maybe, you know, you're going to have to go some to get top four, but. This is the start. This is this is exciting because it feels like it's the start of something fantastic. And I tell you what, right? They get a lot of criticism, the two Davids, but where they bought us from to where they bought us to now is, you know, I, I can't thank them enough. I think they're two fantastic businessmen. I don't like the way they go about things sometimes, but, you know, who am I to say? I'm just a punter at the end of the day. They run the club. They're the one who's put their hard-earned money in it. They're the ones that of um you know do the day-to-day -day dealings you know and karen brady i've been vocally vocally against karen brady some of the things she does but again done a fantastic job with the negotiation of the um, olympic stadium i know she had a lot to do with that but you know this today feels like the start of something revolutionary uh, i hope it is so so I can't wait for Thursday. We'll be back on Thursday. We've got a post-match pint. Our first ever European... We ain't been doing it long, but let's be fair. Our first ever European post-match pint. We're back early. Um, I know everyone wants to see the post-match pints. We've got loads and loads and loads coming up. We've been having meetings all summer. We've been meeting with people. We've been thrashing deals out. You know, it, it's going to be exciting. Trust me. If you ain't already, like and subscribe. Comment on the video down below. Give Julian Dix the thumbs up. You know, tell me how good of a job that, that David is doing. If you like our stuff, tell me. Leave a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV, Facebook.com forward slash West Ham Fan TV, and I'll see you Thursday. Come on, you irons. <laughs>